What is Under Your Clothes by Bertie Chesson. Today in school, we started to talk about our bodies. After Ms. Smith finished talking about our body parts, she said, no one should ever touch your bodies. It is your body. It made me think of when my mom told me not to let anyone see or touch my body. Then Ms. Smith gave us pages to read. Our whole class began reading stories about different children that wanted to keep their bodies safe too. A girl named Angie was playing with her cousin and he started to touch her in her private places. She didn't want him to and she asked him to stop, but he kept touching her anyway. He said that he would hurt her if she told anyone. Michael had an uncle that would touch him while his parents were at work. He wanted his uncle to stop, but he kept doing it anyway. The uncle told him not to tell and that it was their secret. Sally's mother's boyfriend would come into her room at night and would sleep in her bed while her mother was asleep. She didn't want him in her bed. He told her that her mother would be mad if she told on him. Marcus had a friend that he wanted to be more than friends. The friend was telling him that he loved him and wanted to touch him, but Marcus knew that he was too young to make decisions like letting someone else touch his body. His friend started to try to force Marcus into it. A group of boys wanted Jasmine to send pictures of herself to them. They said that they would like her more and would be nicer to her if she did it. Jasmine wanted the boys to be nice to her, but she knew that she was too young to show her body to them, so she knew that it was wrong. Brittany met a friend online. She thought that her parents didn't care about her friends and the things that she was interested in. Her online friends wanted to meet her somewhere secret so that they could show her another kind of friendship that made her feel good about herself. Brittany knew deep down that there was something different about these friends, but they showed her the attention she wanted. Brittany also knew that the strangers weren't supposed to make her keep secrets that she couldn't tell her family. So Brittany didn't go with the friends that she met. She decided to talk to a different adult from another place that she trusted. After we read the stories, Ms. Smith told us that when it comes to our bodies, there is no such thing as good secrets and that our bodies belong to only us and no one has any right to touch us or to even see our bodies because they're not supposed to, not even friends and family. I started to think of the kids in these stories and I raised my hand to ask, what if something happens to us like the kids in these stories? What do we say and do, Miss Smith? You say no, because no means no. You may be afraid, but you have to tell an adult that you trust, like me. And if that adult that you tell, tells you to still keep that bad secret, then tell a different adult. There is no such thing as keeping a bad secret. You have to tell someone that will finally hear you and you will get help from somewhere. Your body is your body. Class, let's read the board together. Our class read the board aloud. No secrets. It's my body. No means no. We felt very powerful after we said that.